Aquarius, Aquarius, welcome. I apologize on the delay. I've been traveling, and so if you like what you see here, I would suggest you subscribe because I don't always, or I'm not a, always able to post on the same day for you guys. So Aquarius, let's get an idea of what's going on in your current energy. Transformation. Transformation is one that's been coming out for a lot of signs lately. So let's see what this is about for you. Oh, don't want to let go. All right. Well, that's a first. Uh, the King and Queen of Swords, followed by the Devil and the Three of Swords. Okay, this uh, this just got really interesting. There's a big change in a relationship. This relationship, although it is destined with or proper partners here with the King and Queen of Swords, it seems it seems that it's kind of an off and on type of thing with this Devil and Three of Swords. It's like um, what I get from this is like. When it's good, it's really good. And when it's bad, it's awful. So, <laughs> your desire to be the one for the truth. This just seems like a person you can't escape. They just keep pulling you back in. Um, interesting. Seven of Wands, Three of Wands, Nine of Coins, Princess of Coins. It's like, how do you not keep coming back together? There's this, like, this practical, the Seven of Wands. You keep fighting it. Uh, you keep fighting for the truth of the matter, but it's just like you get sucked back in. Uh, you're wanting to be able to resist and move forward with the things that you want to do in a practical way. This Nine of Coins I get as just you being... Um, on your own, doing your thing and bringing practical about it. So what is the outcome with this? For Aquarius, please. Now the King of Swords is your energy, but it does not change this read at all. The outcome, courage, strength, <clears throat> Leo energy. This is the Tower, Princess of Wands, Five of Wands, Temperance. There's going to come a defining moment. We see that the outcome is courage. Like, okay, you know, brace yourself for this. Things could fall apart in a really, really nasty way. There is going to be... Um, fighting there's going to be things that you may not have even thought of coming up and happening and temperance is here to help with the balance of this so what's working for you is the seven of cups the sun the six of swords and the high priestess you may not be sure where to go. There might be a lot of options, which is a good thing. There is the ability to have things go in a better direction. But with the High Priestess here, it may have yet to reveal itself. Now, what you need to be aware of is the King of Cups. The King of Cups is an individual that is in control of their emotions. Uh, but he is also very thoughtful, very loving. There is this reciprocal energy, this back and forth that makes you think and look inside going, hey, you know, I really could, I really could handle this. And then, of course, we have the king of coins, which, you know, I can handle this stability rather than this sort of other energy where it's kind of crazy 
We have the Knight of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Star card. There may be more than one person here. We have all four kings on the table. Maybe you're the player. This Knight of Wands, King of Wands, and the Star. The Knight of Wands is kind of in and out. It's move in, move out, move on. Just kind of like, let's just go. And this King of Wands is is very rash, good-looking player. But you, it's almost like you have hopes for this. So there may be several people here that have your attention. But the one that gets you the most is this King of Swords. Your own energy, this Queen of Swords, depending on... <sighs> Closure, freedom, psychic abilities, and strength. So we have the double, comp double confirmation of the strength card. It seems like you want to move on from this uh, to be free of this sort of attachment. And the intuition that you need to do that and the strength to do that is something that you do possess. It all comes down to a matter of, do I want to do this? And will I show the strength to do this? Now, we also have the double confirmation of psychic abilities with the High Priestess there. But that's what I have for you today, Aquarius. Best of luck this week. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.